all right so welcome back from the part one introduction to um, um developing a project um, um a web-based application so um now we are going to start um building our um admin panel and we are going to select some of these few elements on this particular template to build our own application so what do we need now we need um this navigation bar we need this side menu and we'll be needing this dashboard and if possible some of um these boxes that we have here to build our own application maybe you might want to know um the total number of users registered in the system uh, the total number of um uh, maybe um regions or um countries or so forth and so on so we might be using these boxes to indicate them um as we we move along so the first thing we need to do is to go through this template to select the elements that we need to build our own project so the first thing i would like to do is i'll go to um, uh, um let's come to example an example we have invoice we have profile we have login register and so forth and so on so i need a blank page so i'll come to blank here we are and i need this blank page that I want you to start my project. Now on this blank page, where can I locate this blank page? Now if you look at um my the location of this blank page, we have it in what our admin um LTE and then you open pages and on the pages you have examples and on the examples you have a blank. So we have pages here. Um we have examples and then we have blank here so this is the file that we need to work on so what we need to do right now is um we need to pick this file separately somewhere so to pick this file i'm going to create another folder here and then i will entitle it as project so we have a um, project here so i'm going to copy this blank page into my project now let's see what happens when we open blank so if i double click on blank to open it now look at what we have here now so many things are messed up as compared to um the one that we have here so now we need to fix these um errors that we have here because um the css codes and the javascript codes that are supposed to link to this to make it function are not being selected here so now we are coming to select the css codes the javascript code and then so forth and so on to make sure that we have this beautiful design looking here as our project here to as well so how do we identify the css files and javascript files that we need to have this beautiful area now what we need to do is that we need to open um, this blank dot html with a text editor and then we'll be able to um determine which files are connected to it now the text editor that i'll be using for this training is called sapline which is a good text editor that i like using most and it's very simple and then um, a small file and works very effectively so i'll just open sapline here sapline here so i'm going to drag um, my html blank file into my sapline and that loses um, my file up. So the first thing I need to deal with is the title. So the title is admin LTE2 blank page. So I'm starting a project for myself. So I'll say title is going to be the virus systems. Um, the virus system, okay. School uh, management system we have here. So now when we refresh our page here, instead of having this um, admin LTE2 blank page, now we expect to see what the virus systems, um, school management system here. So when I refresh, we have the virus system school management system. Is that okay? So that is what we have, the virus systems we have here. So, or let's just make it the virus school management system here. So simple and easy to go with. So refresh and this is what we have for our project now the next thing we need to look out is um this bootstrap files now these bootstrap files are connected to our system and if it is in the main file they are saying that where the file is let's look at where the file is 
the file is in what example is that okay and now in the example folder they are saying that um where this file is we need to get to bootstrap and in bootstrap we we'll find our css and css folder we are going to see a file called bootstrap.main.css and how do we get to this um, bootstrap folder they're saying that we should go one step backwards from where we are from here so i'll go one step backwards and they say we should go another step backwards again so we hit another step backwards again and then they said where we are now we can find out bootstrap so we have bootstrap here and then they said when we open it we have a folder there called css so when we open that css we have a folder there called bootstrap.main so that is what we need to pick and um when we are picking um css definitely we'll be coming to pick fonts and then javascript so we're just going to pick the whole of this bootstrap um, um folder and then we copy it to um our folder here and then we refresh our page to see what happens all right now when we refresh our page we can see that nothing still happened because um the blank page and then the bootstrap is in the same folder so if we want this blank page to be able to access this one then that means that we need to create two folders and then copy this file into that two folders and then from where it is in the two folders it will go two step backwards to be able to access this file so how do we then take off the two folders so that once they are in the same location this file can access this so we'll come back to our text editor and the first two dots we take them off we have taken one folder off then we also take off the second two folders too as well then we save our file then we go back to refresh our document and then at this time some of the css codes should be able to pick so some has picked and then we are still um in a good to go so let's look at the next thing we have now we have the clouds ferry they are fonts which are going to be picked when you are connected to the internet the same thing that we have here now the next thing that we are going to look is we have dish and under dish we have css and under css we have admin lte dot main css so we also need this file to to be able to complete what our design in one way or the other so we are going to pick this and they said we can locate this in what dish so let's come to dish here here we have what css so we have css and then we have um this um this file so instead of picking um this css folder we'll just pick the whole of this folder because there might be some certain things we'll be needing later in that folder so i'll add it here and then we come to edit our text file by removing um the two step folders backwards off and then we save and then go to refresh what our project to see how it is so we are heading somewhere so we are almost there we can see that we have a nice design and beautiful looking design here somewhere we are and then the next thing we need to pick is what there we have from um, dish skin css and all so i've already picked these skins which when you go to dish because we pick the whole of this folder so the dish is here so we have css and we have skins here so the only thing we need to do is that we need to take off these two dots for our system to be able to access what the folder so we refresh again to see the changes we have again and finally finally we are heading somewhere and then we have a beautiful design just like we have here you can see we have the same design here to as well so what are the next thing that we need to look so for now that is all that we need for now let's roll down and go to the bottom and see whether we need some scripts there to pick so now let's look at the scripts that we need the scripts that we need is um we go to plugins we have jquery we have um jquery 2.2.3.min.js so these are the files that we need so we are going to pick these scripts from the plugin folder so they said we have um um plugin and then we had already taken bootstrap so we only clear this off so that we can have the linkage and then we need to bring what the plugins folder to as well so let's go back 
to um, our main folder they will have plugins and then we have a whole lot of plugins but we're not going to use all these plugins so we're just going to select the few that we have here from the plugins folder and then the rest we do away with them so now for now we pick um what we need is what jquery jquery is here so i'll just copy jquery then go back to my folder and then i'll create a folder called plugins and then i will store this um, jquery folder in it and then i'll come back to edit my menu here and then we see now let's have a look at something before we refresh our page now if i click here you see that nothing happens but if i come to this and i click here you see that i have a drop down menu now this drop down menu is able to drop because we have javascript connected to this but here we don't have javascript so that is why everything is not working the menus are not functioning that's okay so for us to make this menus to drop down then what we need to do is adding the javascript and that is what we have just added here so um, we refresh our page and see whether our javascript will work or not so we're refreshing so we have finished refreshing then we hit on it and it drops down for us and then we can also collapse our menu here too which is not collapsing here so that means that we still have some few things to do for us to be able to collapse because when you come here when you hit you see that you collapse the menu but here our menu collapsing is not working yet so that means that we are still lacking something that we need to do so let's go and look at the scripts that we need so we have um another script here in um uh, plugins which is what slim scroll so let's go and pick slim scroll and then um we pick from plugins slim scroll slim scroll we have it here copy then I also paste it in my plugins folder then the next thing we have is what um fast click let's look for fast click fast click we have fast click here i'll copy that one to my project folder and then what again do we have um they say in the dish we need this and we have already taken this everything about this so the only thing we need to do is to edit this file so let's edit this and also edit this also edit this and then we save this and refresh our project to see so let's reload our project and then our project um then now let's collapse to see so you can see that we have a nice collapsing menu here everything is working as is expected to work and so forth and so on now the only thing is um, some few things have been missing out and later on we can fix those things like the pictures we have here and so forth and so on so later on we can create folders and then connect the pictures to them so for now we break here and then we'll come back with our next tutorial and then if you like the virus system please subscribe to my channel like the video share and always be with the virus system till our next tutorial